scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It's my culture to bring words from the Lord that edify the body of Christ at these strategic seasons of my life. And this time around, it was no exception, except that it was not communicated as effective as I would have preferred it to and um, because of that please let me your attention all the overflows those following from everywhere just five ten minutes let me do a quick recap and then we'll get into the business of the night I brought to our understanding three strong messages number one was concerning our love for Jesus Christ that was the first message that the Lord gave me for everyone but particularly for the body of Christ that we must re-examine the level and the quality of our love and our passion for Jesus Christ. It matters that we love Jesus. It matters that we prioritize Him above every other thing. Don't just say, I love Jesus. Is, he asks a question. He says, Simon Bajona, John 21, lovest thou me more than these? It's not enough to say, I love Jesus. You must prioritize him above money, prioritize him above career, above anointing, above Bible study. Bible study is not Jesus. Prayer is not Jesus. Heaven is not Jesus. The throne room is not Jesus. Jesus is a person. He is Lord. He must be lifted and exalted above all these things. Praise the Lord. So this is the first call. Just by way of recap, we must be passionately in love. This has been my drive um, to the body of Christ for many years that we must come to a point where we truly, truly love him. We must love him with everything that we have. This is what the Bible says. I'm deep in love with you, Abba, Father. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. I'm deep in love with you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. Just sing it one time from your heart. I'm deep in love with you, Abba Father. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. May that be your hunger forever. I'm deep in love with you, Precious Jesus, I'm deep in love with you, Lord. Listen, in this end time, there are realms that not even prayer warriors can get there. There are realms that not even war giants can get there. It is a realm where only lovers. It says, no eye has seen. Revelation cannot take you there, nor ear heard. Neither has it come into the heart of anyone. What God has in store, not for them that pray, 
not for them that go to church not for them that fast but them that love him you can do all of these activities from a religious standpoint i challenge you in all your doing and in all your living love jesus don't just say i love god god means many things we're talking jesus the one who has been exalted today who is both lord and christ and perhaps you are here you came for koinonia you are in any of the overflows down to the basement outside following from all across the world you're yet to make this decision somewhere in the course of my teaching i'm going to be making an altar call and when you hear that call do not harden your hearts the bible says run like there's fire on the mountain when that call is made and come to jesus and begin a real journey that has eternal value our love for jesus the second thing very quickly that i spoke about on friday was a call to effective living the lord began to put a burden in my heart there are many many people who are not living effectively effective living means living with intention and living with a sense of purpose and destiny the bible says except the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city he said the watchmen watch it but in vain it is vain to wake up early in the morning to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow there are so many people this is take it as a miracle service message too effective living gallivanting from pillar to post and the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing else is growing there has to be a call to effective living it says lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me we must trust god for grace to bring to end this living of nonchalance and lack of purpose and intention rigmaroling and freelancing around life what are you living for nothing what are you pursuing nothing what is the project destiny project you are embarking on part time nothing especially to my generation of young people we must obtain grace to sit down and i love social media i, I believe it is a blessing but in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty part of the miracles that we must receive tonight is the grace to manage our lives as far as internet social media and all these things are concerned don't misunderstand me i believe there is a blessing to these things if managed there is a dangerous spirit of destruction that is literally eating of people the unit of destiny is time whatever you give your time to you are giving part of your life to and you must be sure and insist that you are giving part of your life to what is worth it i'm amazed at the extent of visionless living that we have in our society we must trust god for grace to live effectively i learned effective living from dr miles monroe bless his heart buy books that teach you how to live effectively have goals for your life have projects per time per season that you are embarking on run away from a life that does not have something motivating you you cannot freelance through life and want to live victoriously hallelujah a great man said at the end of our lives there are two things we are going to be remembered for the problems we solved the solutions that we birthed or the problems we created we used to sing a hymn those days in the seminary it says thus till we pass um how, how does how does he put it only to be remembered by what we have done you must make sure that your life is governed by three factors number one the fear of the lord 
number two conscience number three a sense of posterity and then number three which was quite an important one that i spoke about in that broadcast was the need for a greater sense of love and unity within the body of christ the holy spirit has put this burden in my heart for years and it's been my advocacy for a long time that the body of christ as a corporate entity as the bride of christ needs to come into a higher and more intentional level of unity there is so much we can do as a united force there is so little we can do as individuals there are dimensions of the glory and the power of god that cannot be birthed by a single individual no matter how effective it will take the corporate body to be able to reveal that dimension of god and here and there you hear teachings that attempt to bring a greater sense of cohesion within the body of christ but i think that um we shouldn't just talk about unity but we should help to supply a few keys and so i thought that in this broadcast I would bring two or three keys that would help the body of Christ come into a sense of unity. These are the keys that without them, I do not see um, the project for unity and love as a project that is doable without these keys. Let me run through these three keys. Are you interested? Key number one is for the body of Christ to come into a sense of love and unity we will need the practice we will need to introduce the practice of mutual honor as a value system it is impossible to attain unity in an atmosphere of dishonor or when honor is not mutual for a long time the trend in the body of christ has been individualism and this sense of bitterness sarcasm hatred over one ministry one pastor one we we have to grow and mature beyond this point this is what the holy spirit was sent to do in our lives and to do in his body the practice of mutual honor as a value system don't go around insulting men of god insulting churches contrasting people causing trouble for men of god comparing this one is more anointed than this this one is more blessed you there will always be trouble when there is no sense of mutual honor are we together yes everyone who is called by god in ministry in business we just finished a series on witnesses everyone has a call and within the limit of their call election and assignment they are deserving of honor politicians deserve their honor for the sacrifice of formulating policies and leading the nation business people deserve their honor for helping to bring development across a territory and to supply financial resources men and women of god spiritual leaders generally speaking they are deserving um of honor for connecting a territory to faith and helping to shape the spiritual convictions of people within a territory career people are contributors to nation building contributors to destiny until we come to a point where we are unashamed about acknowledging the contribution of one another and to lavishly and honestly and truthfully communicate honor there cannot be unity in the body of christ by the time i come and stand here and attempt to outshine every man of god here we have great ministers of the gospel scattered here in the overflows many following online imagine that i downplay them i downplay their relevance i rubbish what they are doing and make it look as though they are not serious with god i am the one let me tell you how you know you are in error the moment it looks like you are the only one who is right is a sign that you are under attack do not fall into the attack of elijah elijah said i am the only one and god said nonsense there are seven thousand others who have not bowed are we together 
we must have that greater sense of cohesion you are a music minister don't come and laugh at another music minister oh this one is this this one is that we must obtain grace and maturity both spiritual and psychological to grow past this realm of childishness there is need to practice mutual honor i look forward to times when men of god can sincerely appreciate themselves can i tell you this it is it is not news that the body of christ has different dimensions of problems and troubles it is solving from excesses here and there to doctrinal issues to personality issues of men of god these things are not new are we together now none of them is a reason enough to bring hatred jealousy backbiting most of this hatred and jealousy in the body of christ it didn't come because of ministry it came because of a background of deprivation a background where we seem to not have made it and so we look forward to platforms to vent those things out and then we mix them and make it look like it's the holy spirit making us act that way no the holy spirit is never to be blamed for those attributes of the flesh it is the dimension of us that has not yielded to his renewal that is tampering with the anointing he gave us and is producing a mix of results We must learn to honor one another can i tell you this we must honor the fathers of faith you don't honor a father because he's flawless or perfect you honor a father because that position warrants your honor forever we have to be careful some of these mistakes we keep making around and just because nothing seems to be an obvious consequence we think there is no consequence every father of faith within this nation is deserving of honor and then we must honor our contemporaries listen i must admit something and we must all admit it also the truth is that we are equal in christ but we are not equal in results we are not equal in grace it is an uncomfortable truth that we must admit the election of grace alongside the sacrifice of alignment has separated us into cadres of possibilities we cannot downplay that however we must look past those things look past crowd look past revelational prowess look past prophetic power look forth look past the grace for miracle signs and wonders and be able to meet someone and shake the person even if it is 10 members that he has how are you sir how is the work you are doing and usually you say ah you are the ones doing the work you have all the crowd there be wise enough to say no we are co-laborers provided there is one soul that you are a pastor over it is worth to god that one soul is still worth the blood of jesus you see when you maintain that disposition the likelihood that that person will criticize you and be jealous and be envious is no longer there because you have let that person know that you equally appreciate what they are doing we must honor the fathers we must honor our contemporaries in ministry and we must also honor our sons our daughters and our mentees if you honor the fathers alone and disregard your contemporaries and your mentees you are a hypocrite the bible says honor all men can i tell you this we are sons and thank god for the privilege of raising other sons and mentees but when you fight sons and fight mentees and don't appreciate what they are doing whether with you or not god will help them grow when they grow without your contribution do not expect loyalty from them let me tell you this fatherhood demands that you are patient with sons they will make mistakes they will do stupid things that's what it means the the condition to be a father is that you must be ready to take a lot of nonsense from sons that's what makes you a father don't discourage younger ministers coming they will you will see pride you will see flesh you will see carelessness your assignment as a father is to be able to call them rebuke correct but show love let them know that you believe in what they are doing we have we have this attitude of using our progress to bully people who are coming up in ministry 
when a young man says i'm getting into ministry we who god has helped a bit usually we come with this sense of sarcasm what do you know what are you doing they will make mistakes they should learn it's better for your sons and daughters to make mistakes in your lifetime as a father where you can correct and build them and be sure of the product you are releasing to the world this is not a, a, a license for licentiousness sons and daughters should also behave well because if you are learning you should be growing are we together we must be patient honor the fathers honor our contemporaries and co-laborers we must also honor the ones who god is helping to come up the little children you watch the video of my dear children here azaria children who were singing those little children are the prophets the apostles of tomorrow many many parents both spiritual and natural are being punished today because of their insensitivity to reach down to another generation and help them if you were not there when i was in the cave of adulam don't expect an invitation when i'm sitting on the table of greatness we must be there for people and grow with them not just show up in their success and want a stake in their lives this is a message to the body of christ there is no tell them it's a message to everybody let's honor the fathers my fear listen I, i'm speaking by the privilege of the apostolic grace my fear now again is the kind of sons and mentees that we are raising we have to be very careful and be sure that we are raising people who love the lord the level of pride the level of of self-centeredness carnality that is rising every young man right now just because you can preach or prophesy you can insult anybody it ought not to be so we must restore honor to the body we are not stupid people christianity is not a blind religion just because we're in christ does not mean our common sense was taken away even our natural heritage teaches us that respect and honor pays are we together now that is the first key that will produce unity the ability to salute people you are a man of god don't sit down and gather sons and daughters and be talking about men of god all over castigating people no let me tell you this one of the ethics of fatherhood is that you must gauge the spiritual level of the people who are within your mentorship there are certain discussions and there are certain information that you should not expose younger believers to these are discussions of fathers you now bring people who are just starting the faith and you discourage them or you plant pride in them and then sons and daughters you have a responsibility to protect and uphold your fathers don't join the head of men of god and cause trouble for people around oh man of god i went somewhere they spoke about you oh man of god they, they, this is the trouble that most people bring upon the body of christ we are god's bride and we must you be united and appreciate ourselves like i was saying i look forward to times when a man of god will be organizing a crusade or a program and another man of god will write off a check for buses or sound and say i do not know you i just know that what you are doing is going to glorify the name of the lord here is my contribution noiseless contribution genuinely not the type you close the door and say don't mind them no when someone comes around you to gossip and talk about men of god rebuke him then tell him let's pray be careful it is a word of warning because there are spiritual consequences listen this house as a principle we are people of honor you will never hear me open open up stand here and mention the name of any man of God and castigate and criticize that is not the ministry we are given we are given the ministry to preach Christ yes we will challenge wrong doctrines yes we have our value system as individuals and as a ministry but let me tell you this you want to see the backing of god in your life i'm teaching you the secret you must not only love god you must love the body people will make mistakes 
people will teach there will be error in doctrine God has granted us grace across different divides and for us who God has helped a bit with either influence or revelatory graces or prophetic power or grace for signs and wonders or leadership we must administer such in the spirit of humility I go to places and when people see me even great people oh apostle God bless you I don't stand and brag my chest and say now you know I'm happy you are recognizing no why did you go through the school of the spirit then you must reciprocate listen when a great man celebrates you understand it is not easy it's not easy for people to stake their reputation and appreciate you and so if and when they do receive it with thanksgiving but have the intelligence to reciprocate are we learning so this is the first key to the unity of the body the second key that i'm proposing and i said that in my broadcast that can help the body to be united is to understand the jurisdictional component of authority authority without jurisdiction is dangerous yes we must love the body of christ and we must have that ability to understand the jurisdictional component if one of our little ones here is running around you can hold that one and bring the person because it's within your jurisdiction but you cannot go to the road and just open a door and start flogging an, another person's child and you say you're a disciplinarian it's not done that way it's not your jurisdiction are we are we following now do you know what killed john the baptist in the bible bible students do you know the bible called him the greatest prophet he was the greatest when he stayed within his jurisdiction he had finished his assignment by announcing christ he would have stayed with honor but he went into the issue of talking about herodias why did you marry the wife of this and that and for that mistake even though he was a prophet they jailed him and his head went for it the way he died i don't believe that's how god would want to honor someone that way there is a jurisdictional component to authority are we together the body of christ will never experience unity when there is no jurisdiction ah this man had a crusade or this man had a seminar oh he didn't do it correctly mm -mm, mm -mm. that is not your assignment if you observe anything that was not done well go to god in prayer the prayer altar is there pray for them are we blessed number three the third key that can promote unity in the body of christ is outright forbearance there are certain levels of transformation that may never honestly happen pragmatically speaking you will just need forbearance i think i've taught it here the difference between forgiveness and forbearance forgiveness means that it's a pardon for something transgression trespass forbearance means create a system of accommodation because whatever you have seen will happen again and again and again for instance there are men of god who are different there are some of us who are on the arrogant side there are some of us who are on the extroverted side there are some who are very reserved and into themselves are we together now forbearance angry elijah temperous moses stammerer moses are we together slow and annoying samuel all of them were used by god i hope you know it was samuel's delay that made saul to lose his throne are we together yes all those people proud and self-centered elijah i'm the only one and god said keep quiet yet all of them were used by god and this bible is very intentional about preserving their exploits and when we get to hebrews 11 the bible calls all of them elders for by it it says the elders obtained a good report 
Praise the name of the Lord. We need forbearance. If your pastor is an angry person, pray, 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 but while you pray, just create forbearance. Forbearance means expect it and build joy above it. Don't expect him to change to be happy. That is, that is not a wise approach. And this applies not only to men of God, husbands, wives, and all of that. I think I made a statement on, on Friday. One time I was counseling a couple and the man apologized to the woman for something he had done wrong. And he said, I promise it will never happen. I just told him, I said, Mr. Man, just stop there. I assure you. <laughs> to say it will not happen, no. Madam, your own assignment, build a system of joy from scripture. Let his transformation be an added advantage to your joy, not the basis for it. Are we blessed? You need to forbear. The Bible tells us it mandates that we forbear. So that you don't get up, for instance, and go to a church and you find people dancing and jumping and say, what rubbish is going on here? Mm -mm. Forbear. Jesus is still there. Just search for him. You can go somewhere else and it looks like nothing is going on there. Forbear. A man of God may be teaching. You are used to a man of God being careful and quiet and very calculated. You go somewhere and the person is jumping up and down. Forbear. Don't just conclude because it's, uh, it's not an experience that is similar with the pattern you are used to. Just because it's a pattern you are not used to does not mean it's not of God. We need forbearance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Personally, you would have noticed that I'm somebody who likes taking unnecessary things out of the way. Straight to the point. Opening prayer worship once you are done open fire next program there's no drama and mm -mm. but i mean you you can't go somewhere and they're acting drama and say they are wasting time no somebody is getting blessed from that drama if it's not blessing you it's because god that's why drama is not the only thing done in the church there is opening prayer if that one does not bless you be patient for worship if worship does not bless you let testimonies bless you if everything does not bless you an altar call is what you need listen i'm not being sarcastic this this is this is a miracle service we're going to leave the issue of sickness and the rest we're coming there but this is a message for the body of christ can i tell you this with all humility by the grace of god there is no there is no major denomination as it were that i have not preached in within this nation adapt adaptation is proof of honor you must be able to adapt. If you go to a place and they are singing hymns, find a hymn book. Look at the wordings. Now that you are a Christian, the wordings will even mean more to you. We sang powerful hymns and didn't know what we were saying. I remember those days in the seminary, they would ask us to repeat stanza one, three, five. After we are, we've sang six stanzas. They are, come on, please. Why stanza one, three? Maybe verse and finish. But now you read the same hymns and you cry and say such power captured in it when you search for jesus in his body you will find him in the midst of the lampstands an imperfect lampstand i saw one in the midst of a lampstand jesus himself praise the name of the lord provided we want to walk in unity listen to me we must obtain grace from god to forbear we must obtain grace from God to forbear everybody you see both preachers and members and business people and politicians they are in a state of transformation there is nobody who has graduated from the school of the spirit the school of the spirit is a school that you never graduate while God is using you you are still going through that training we must have a strong sense of forbearance. The principles of global leadership demand that you must have a, a strong sense of flexibility. You are dealing with people from different cultures, different experiences. It doesn't, forbear does not mean just to allow anything happen. No, there has to be flexibility. Are we blessed? So the keys to unity, mutual honor, 
and then number two understanding jurisdiction as we administer authority and then number three forbearance 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 and then i rounded up that broadcast by expressing my gratitude and i'm doing it again thank you thank you some of you now you are forbearing me isn't it because you are you you came ready for power and shouting i'm tired of these demons tired of them apostle get these spirits out of me just be patient i've taught you forbearance hallelujah praise the name of the lord i pray that in our lifetime we will be able to see a greater sense of cohesion in the body i pray that in our lifetime we'll be able to look past our differences and be able to focus on jesus and obtain grace to drive this body to her desired heaven to be greater reflections of the reality of the life the love and the power of jesus are we in agreement lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love be peace lord make us instruments of your peace When we are your instruments of peace. Father, this is our prayer. Help us as men of God, politicians, and members of the government, career people, family people, all together, build your body indeed. And may we be more perfect reflections of your intention for us. And I pray that as your people glean from these truths that I have shared, may it be a contribution towards kingdom come. And yet the more, let it be a contribution towards the unity of the body. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Are you ready for tonight? Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 24. Just one scripture and then we'll begin to pray. Please hold on with Daniel chapter 6. Please give me Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. The Lord always gives me a word every time during my birthday. And the word is not only for me. I believe that the word is for everyone connected to this grace. So I just thought to read the scripture. This is the word the Lord gave me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Therefore I speak to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by extension, from today, may the Lord begin to magnify you. Please believe it, receive it. May the Lord begin to magnify you. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit in your field of endeavor, in your going out, in your coming in, the Lord will magnify you in the name of Jesus chapter 4 lord magnified joshua in the sight of all israel and they feared him as they feared moses all the days of his life i pray for you the result you will begin to command from today by the power of the holy ghost i decree and declare in the name of jesus may your result make people to fear your god financial results spiritual results intellectual results may that grace come upon you 
in the name of Jesus Christ results in ministry results in politics results in family results in your finances in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will make you ten times greater ten times greater in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated God bless you Daniel chapter 6 I sense that there is a strong anointing tonight from verse 24 the Lord is going to be bringing a massive deliverance in this place let me tell you what deliverance is deliverance is a spiritual system by which the saints are separated listen carefully are separated from the obstacles it doesn't always have to be spirits there can be mountains that stand before you the separation between you and any source of impedance whatever it is that sustains the ability to impede your progress in life and in destiny that art of separation is called deliverance are we together daniel chapter 6 please give it to us verse 24 this was these were the three hebrew boys now cast into fire and the king darius now commanded and they brought those men which had accused daniel and they cast them into the den of lions and their children and their wives okay this was the, the story of daniel now in the lions den. and the lions had mastery of them you discern what that means and break their bones in pieces or ever they came at the at the at the bottom of the den uh -huh. next verse and the king wrote to all people nations languages that dwell in all the earth a decree is about to be passed peace be multiplied unto you it says i make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the god of daniel why for he is a living god and steadfast forever and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even unto the end 27 this is why he is called that god only savior he is deliverer he can bring you and pull you out of trouble that people have looked at your life and your family can anything good come out of these people can anything good come out of this one that one and god says i am a deliverer i can come and snatch you from from the jaws of the lion listen i truly believe in the power of god to deliver there is a relationship between a separation between you and your obstacles and your prosperity it says i desire to come to you again even i paul once and again but satan hindered us favor desiring to come to you lifting desiring to come to you satan can hinder things hallelujah there are people here under the sound of my voice and following from across the globe the truth is that based on the gifting that god has put in your life the nation should be celebrating you you should not be at this level but there are powers that sit upon men's destinies please give me zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 we're about to pray zechariah 1 18 please pay attention connect those outside the overflows following online Zechariah 1 and verse 18. Then lifted I up my eyes and saw, and behold, what did I see? Four horns. A horn is a symbol of authority. Verse 19. It says, And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah, my praise, scattered Israel, my covenant, scattered Jerusalem, my peace. There are horns that fight your praise. There are horns that fight your promise. There are horns that fight your peace. But the Bible says, and the Lord of peace 
himself shall give you peace always by all means next verse still on Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 20 and the Lord showed me four carpenters aha uh -huh. it's never too late for a carpenter never too late for a carpenter you can change the wood you can redesign everything he says what come this to do he's still talking about the horns and he spake saying these are the horns which have scattered judah read with me so that no man did lift up his head oh it can peg your father he is unable to rise even though he went to school even though he went to us this power sits on people's destinies listen let me teach you something about scripture there is what people like ew kenyon will call the legal side of redemption and the vital side of redemption here's how i put it the prophetic dimension of the speakings of god versus their experiential manifestation in god's mind everything is finished including the death of jesus before it happened because he appropriated in the life of believers in god's mind no believer should be poor are there poor believers in god's mind no believer should be sick are there sick believers what makes you think there are no oppressed believers the oppression does not negate the finished work of christ it as powerful as god is and jesus is he did not cast sin out of man he didn't say the cross the grave and trust what defeated sin so to merely sit down and just assume that everything is all right is the same mistake as someone who hears the gospel and just believes that just because jesus died he's automatically saved he's not automatically saved the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus is a reality. Yet till today there are people going to hell. What is their offense? Their offense is that they have not believed and appropriated that truth into their lives. It is so for salvation. It is so. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battles for me. Can I tell you something? Listen to me. For many years in my life, even as a man of God, demon spirits were oppressing me. Not many people would tell you this truth. I'm not saying it to discourage you, and I'm not demeaning the power of Jesus. We stand today by that same power. And because of my prophetic inclination, I would see spirits literally enter my room. I shouted Jesus in Jesus name in Jesus name nothing happened because the name is not a charm it works by understanding did the sons of Skiva not mention the same name did the demons go what did they do to the man they even said Jesus I know Paul I know I see their understanding supporting what they are doing. Where is your own understanding? There are many believers under all kinds of oppression, stagnated and not manifesting to their fullness of their destinies in Christ. Why? Because they just assume that everything is gone. Why then do you go to the hospital? Why do you visit the pharmacy for drugs? Even though you believe eternal life is at work in you. If someone is sick now and you pray in the name of Jesus and nothing seems to happen you can honorably take the person to a pharmacy to midwife his health while he's learning the laws of divine health is that true it does not mean you don't believe in divine health but hospital and drugs are God's systems of mercy to midwife our longevity and our health while we are learning God himself knows that is a process I'm a winner man, a winner man, he has won my battles for me. Listen, 
let me tell you the day my deliverance came I found a scripture and light came like an arrow from heaven and entered me when that light entered me I ran I stood in front of my room then and I shouted I pleaded with the spirits that used to oppress me I begged them to return till tomorrow they have not returned listen when we minister like this number one we are not being boastful number two we are not negating what Christ has done the administration of his power is our participatory role in actualizing his finished work in and to our lives this is what the Bible calls faith the name of the action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his person it is always by grace but it is through faith grace is the name given to everything that is in God released to man only through the office of the Christ that's what we call grace mercy is grace power is grace wisdom is grace grace is not unmerited favor that's just one dimension of it grace is a generic name given to the storehouse that contains everything that makes God God is called grace but the system of access and delivery is what we must learn help that person please help that lady under the anointing believers we must trust God to mature in doctrine so that we do not become victims help her there is a mighty deliverance that is happening to her there because the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit so understand there are many spirits but this one is that spirit the Lord the Lord is that spirit and where the Lord is you know he signs that signature by giving men liberty so that a door that has been closed for 90 years your grandfather tried to open till he died there your father tried to open till he oh, it, we are not going to open it we will break it into pieces so that your children too can pass Do you know why Nathaniel said to Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? He was not lying. There was an antecedence. There, there was a track record. There are regions where men only rise by eating from others. They never become established. No matter how educated. There are regions where it's the women that feed the men. The husband is the wife and the wife is the husband hard-working diligent people how about people where doors are open for you just when you are seeing it to pick it who's seen that this man was born blind that means there was something Jesus taught them immediately they saw this a good student said Jesus you've taught us something but who's seen was it this man or his father he said neither but that the glory of the Lord be revealed. Can I tell you this? This night I want you to be angry and make up your mind. We have a few minutes tonight. We are going to trust God to have a convocation within this place. To walk from person to person and bring to end everything that will not bow to the name of the Lord. Listen. Can I tell you this? I remember many years ago. This was in Zaria. We are about to pray. A precious man of God came to meet me and as soon as he entered my room I saw a spirit behind him I was just watching and he was telling me some of the ordeals around his life and ministry sincere well-meaning godly person I kept quiet and then I told him I said sir can I pray for you I think there is an oppression ah he shot me down immediately no 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 don't talk to me about oppression I said okay I'm sorry I hope I don't offend you but if you will allow me pray for ah, I just want you to agree with me I said no problem let's do the agreement when I held his hand he only got up after how many minutes the kind of deliverance that happened to him see it did not take one week it's like the doors were just opening like this do you know that guy returned back and said apostle what happened upon Mount Zion listen where does the deliverance happen where does the deliverance happen go to the book of hebrews what is in mount zion the church of the firstborn innumerable company of angels that's why deliverance happens 
Zion is the appropriate way for, place for deliverance to happen. If it does not happen upon Mount Zion, where else does it happen? There shall be deliverance and then holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess. It will never enter your hand till the resistance has been cleared away. I can tell you this. Hear me. There are men of God. Do you know even over this city there are controlling powers? When God sent me to this city, I took out quality time signing that spiritual register. Shakatoske branda katoske lebahashia. Manta predisitia. Let me tell you this. Help them. I tell you the truth and forgive me if it sounds like I'm just bragging. You can be in a city yet spiritually you are outside that city because the gate is still closed over you you do business in that city you will lose you do whatever in that city you will lose because the two leaf gates have not been parted are you ready to pray i once prayed for a woman who had a school and all of a sudden mysteriously wonderful woman people started picking their children away from the school what did she do it was not that okay they got some new teachers and i called her i said madam continue your pathway of principles and excellence but let's deal with this there are spiritual things to be dealt with i prayed for that woman i anointed her the biblical pathway not some of these superstitious things that people do there is an angle to deliverance that is not consistent with doctrine it may not mean that the, those who are administering it are bad. They are just inaccurate as far as the administration of the power of God is concerned. There is a way we administer the power of God that is consistent with doctrine. She went back and fire. Breakthroughs everywhere. Let me tell you this. If there is anything I know that produces instant results is true deliverance when the impedance leaves your life you will be surprised some of you can be seated here while in church and a call just comes this was the call you've been waiting for for five years you don't know that there are spirits in the airways that shut the ears and the attention of destiny help us do you believe what i'm sharing with you because from here now we're going to pray and i'll begin to minister i'm going to take quality time to minister deliverance this night and then we're going to pray for the sick who will speak over your prayer request this is the sixth month the sixth month there has to be an evidence someone promised to help you and lift you and like the wine presser the moment they get out of prison they forget you and their forgetfulness adds two years to your pain I don't know about you if you are all right your children are all right you are already enjoying everything pray for us but as for me and my house make up your mind that father there must be an evidence of your favor your grace but before then hear me there are families that are connected i know what i'm seeing as i'm speaking here so i want your heart to be open as we pray no distraction focus on jesus and let's deal with some of these issues hallelujah one prayer point and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open please rise up on your feet please rise up on your feet and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead it must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying? Shaka, <laughs> 
Please pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. Lift your voice and pray. Are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to be with. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. We have a few minutes and we're going to be very, very fast. But I want you to open up your heart and let the power of God bring you deliverance tonight. We're going to pray for the sick and we're going to celebrate the walking power of Jesus Christ in this place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm ready to pray. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. These are the first sets of people we are going to pray over. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names, everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, that yoke and that spirit be broken. At the count of three, you will shout, Jesus, one, two three i command that devil out of their lives now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ bring them out by the power that's in the name of jesus christ. the spirit of delay over individuals over family i come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing chains, chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move, and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every chain, in the name of Jesus, chains be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. All the overflow outside, following online, chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Was he praying? Who is Deborah? I'm hearing the name Deborah. They call you Deborah. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah. There's someone with that name. Just very quickly, I want to speak to you. Deborah. You have a name, Deborah. Who is that person? 
Let me pray for you. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Aquaibom. Who is from Aquaibom? Deborah. You are from Aquaibom. Come, I want to pray for you. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, we are praying. That every planting that is not of God. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing deliverance. There is someone, the Lord is opening my eyes. You are holding three photos on your hand, pictures. Three, three, one, two, three. Please come. Please come. Three photos, you are holding them on your hand. Whether you are here or any of the overflows, if you can find that person while I pray for these people, please don't come out at random. Please. There is a lot we are going to do. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. Please stand up. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is not a planting of God, I curse it now. Now, let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Now, for all of you who have come out here, may not have the time to speak to everybody. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now with a loud shout. in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you everything that is not a planting of god may fire from heaven rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now in the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying. Recurrent sickness coming again, you treat it, coming again, you treat it. I speak and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I command that devil out of your life now, out of your destiny in the name of Jesus. let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ that lady i cast that devil out of her now in the name of jesus christ those of you who are standing please return back to your seats rejoicing where is i don't know if you've gotten the woman i'm seeing in my vision a fair woman you are holding three photos. Is there someone like that here? I'm a winner man. 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 Madam, stretch your hands. Lift. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. The name of Jesus never returns to you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let there be liberty for you who is James 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 I'm hearing a name James what is the name of your husband give her the mic come stand here I'm a winner man a winner man Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's ah, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around.
there is a James outside. You are wearing a white like a kaftan. White. White and white. I want to speak to that person. Is there someone like, not, not just this one. It's not. Is there someone like that? You are not in this auditorium. You, what's your name, sir? Come and stand here. What do you do? Huh? I said you are wearing white and white. I'm looking at you. And I'm seeing you sitting down on a sewing machine. What do you do? I'm a tailor, sir. Please don't come out at random. Let's, let's fear God. There's, there's order in the house of God. Please, if we don't call your case and you come, we'll politely drive you back to your seat. Please, there is order in the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? I want to pray for you. Madam, I know your husband is following. Don't worry, husband. You don't have to come. Just stand in faith. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus, I declare it so by the power of the Holy Spirit. There are two people at the back. The power of God is coming on them with a loud shout. Please pick them and bring them out. Two people at the back. I just saw light leaving this place. Right to the back. Please bring them. My dear, I curse everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry. What do you do? Huh? I'm an entrepreneur. Are you a businessman? Yes, sir. What, yes, do you, what do you do? I was actually doing Uber. But I'm, I'm into rice supply right now. I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year, you'll be a multi-millionaire? Amen! You believe it? Listen. When, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We're kingdom-driven people. And everything we do is for his glory. My brother... There is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness. Not just in front. Even across the congregation. I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God. Any fraternity with spirit beings. Please bring them out. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those tabaka tabaka tops. Emprakataka toka tembrakataba. I curse those spirits right now. Hallelujah. Who is Jane? Jane, like J-A-N-E. I'm hearing a name, Jane. We may not have all the time to speak to people one-on-one. -on -one. Jane, is there someone like that? Who is Gift? Gift, G-I-F-T. Is there someone like that? Gift. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own delight. Hey, let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. 
the Lord is showing me someone your mother your mother is in the hospital right now I'm seeing this is sickness is she's been so I don't know what it is but I don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in a sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please my my dear look at me what's your name huh what's your name don't cry don't cry don't cry madam what's your name okay i want to pray for you father i stretch my hands over these ones my god i'm just seeing fire leaving my hand i'm just coming to rest on some of you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty right now liberty right now liberty right now in the name of jesus christ liberty right now i cross the walkings of darkness this is koinonia the house of god i declare liberty right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus help them please hallelujah ah wow this is serious um please don't be embarrassed you don't have to come out i'm seeing a woman you have been pregnant this is way past nine months it's like this pregnancy is just continuous but you will not give birth who is that person this is a very strange situation god is showing me every sign of pregnancy but it's like indefinite pregnancy you understand what i'm saying is there someone like that in the name of jesus please pray hallelujah 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 why is she here why are you here you are pregnant there's no pregnancy there now pregnant physically not spiritually preg physically pregnant more than nine months how many years how many years one year five months come and stand here how many years one year nine months how many years give her the mic this one i'm seeing one year nine months written on her stand up this is demonic how can a human hold on please madam it's all right it's all right how can a person hold pregnancy for one year nine months i'm a winner man a winner man he has won my battle for me i'm a winner man I'm a winner man I'm a winner man A winner man My dear Hold on Look at me, look at me Let's save time man, stand up Let me just minister to you Please be patient this night And let God give us a visitation You are married? hold on madam don't worry it's all right we are, that, um, god has answered your prayer we're going to pray huh? look at this look at me i curse that spirit according to god's design for us there are doctors here women is it not nine months it's elephants that carry children for over two years or so not human beings this is witchcraft everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give birth to business ideas visions every power stopping your delivery i command it to clear the way now clear the way now have them please clear the way now 
declare the way now. Shkata bara tos koto preke. Declare the way now. Declare the way now. As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Help her. Just help her. Madam, you're married? I lost my husband for while, uh, last year. He was poisoned. And since then, I've been carrying pregnancy for the past one year, nine months. Even if I go to the hospital, it's not my first pregnancy. Look at this. You are seeing a pregnant woman. This is a pregnant and you go to the hospital so they did not see anything <laughs> stretch your hands pray for this woman like you are praying for your blood <laughs> Satan take your hands from this woman <laughs> in the name of jesus we command every demonic hindrance give way now you have taken all the pain you have taken all the shame you have taken all disappointments you have taken all the worries You have made them yours You have taken all my pain You have taken all my shame You have taken all my sorrow You have taken all the weakness You have made them yours Listen, if this is a genuine pregnancy, then we declare according to the time of life. May you go and give birth to healthy children that you will come and stand before God's people and testify. You are her sister or daughter? Who is this? Your sister. Oh dear. Don't cry. Weep not for the book is open. The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed madam i stretch my hands and i pray for you now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let there be a miracle for you right now my sister in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life go and give birth in jesus name for all of you who are out i don't know why you are out but i declare by the spirit of the living god every issue of concern it comes under judgment now. I'm hearing a name Asabe. A-S-A-B-E. It's like that's somebody's name. Is there someone like that? I want to pray. Who is that? Who has? Ah. We give you worship. Worship. The highest praise to the king. You're welcome, madam. Can I pray for you? I want to pray for you. My goodness. The Lord is bringing a miracle. We're going to pray for the sick shortly. But I'm seeing the power of God touching you, your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. And I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Everything that is not a planting of God. Roaming around your body. We command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of jesus number two madam the lord is saying i should prophesy to you the month of july call it your month of restoration the lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life i declare it so in the name of jesus christ there is someone here we're going to pray but i'm seeing someone your father is a military officer the lord is asking me to pray for the person right now a military officer I want to pray and rebuke the spirit of death 
people are following on air no telling lies no telling lies we're praying for everybody if your father biological father is not a military officer please stay back make sure that you don't just come out at random we're praying now praise the name of the lord you just come and stand quickly and let's pray please don't be tired god is visiting people I just saw light. There is a grace for speed. People are going to begin to run right now. Just hold them and bring them out. I release that grace for speed. Bring them out. There is a strength grace for speed that is coming on people now. Politicians, businessmen, men and women of God, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that anointing now. Please bring them out. Strength grace for speed that is coming upon you. Some of you in the next one month, within one month, within one month, things will begin to shift in your life. We am prophesying by the Spirit. Within one month, within one month, the delay of years, within one month, speed, speed to your life. Help them please. Speed to your life. I'm still praying it. I'm still seeing that grace rest on people. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life. Supernatural speed. Hallelujah. There is a man of God here. Oh dear. You have been praying. Don't come out. The power of God will come on you. You have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic. You are on this road. This road. The power of God will touch other people, but the person I'm talking about is on this road. This road at the back. Bring the person. There is a grace for signs and wonders. As is happening to one, as many as desire. In the name of Jesus, may that mantle rest paros upon your ministry, upon your life. Paros Grace is coming upon you. Signs, wonders. I'm telling you, you will be surprised at what God will do in your life. Grace, you will command signs and wonders in business, in ministry. May the good hand of God come upon you. Hallelujah. Any military officer here that the spirit of death is looking for their family, I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone's father who is a military officer, in the name of Jesus, he will not die in battle. I declare supernatural preservation by the power of the Holy Spirit, preserved by the good hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ preserved by the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ your brother has been missing for two years not has been missing two years two years who is that that's your number one prayer request come and stand here stand up please my dear just minimize crying when you come so that we attend to you. God has located you. Praise the name of the Lord. Please don't cry. Look at me, my dear. Your brother. What's his name? Benjamin. How many years? 35. 35. Huh. How many years has he been missing? Two years. How about you? What's the name of your brother? Nandom. He's been missing? Yes, sir. And my sister? Fejiro, he has been missing for two years. What's his name? Fejiro. A... What does he do? He just graduated. So, um, What was he doing? He was just doing some jobs. All of a sudden, just went away. I'm listening. Okay. Well, on live TV, there are some things that is wise to just keep quiet. But you see, 
we have to pray for our relatives because sometimes this deception that people bring let's help you get to this country you will get a job you understand what i'm saying and this is what is happening to him but in the name of jesus the spirit that is making him misbehave is still alive come back home now can i tell you this there is no country that has an advantage by default if the lord does not go with you every nation has a bridge and there are people living under it so just because it's us or uk or asia does not mean automatically now i know that many of them have leadership structures that easily allow people to prosper but i'm telling you except god holds a man's hand and helps you in this life you can travel all you can and return back to your yesterday my sister where are you from i want to pray for you this prayer is not just for your brother let me start with you first huh shame and reproach in the name of jesus i command it to leave you the spirit that is part of shame and reproach release her now in the name of jesus christ my friend what do you do i'm a real estate agent sir you're a real estate agent yes sir do your real estate yes sir. but start preparing for ministry hmm? look at me the call of god was upon your life before real estate you know that right god showed you in dreams that yes, you will sir. do evangelism yes, you've seen sir. yourself go to your village yes sir. you are from my place now yes sir yes, prepare sir. god yes, is sir. calling you do your real estate but then at the same time don't run away from the call of god the call of god is not a cause many of us run away because we think you will not eat so we run away as though god just calls people to rubbish their life he calls us into a life of honor are we together now my friend don't cry i pray that god will help you in your real estate but i also pray that you will answer the call and that god will equip you and he will use you mightily for all our loved ones who are missing be found in jesus name yeah. hallelujah this will be the first time i will be making any public statement about a territory and about this territory since god brought us here i'm not one person who comes out and says you know prophecies and all of that no i love the lord whatever we see we pray but listen, I'm saying it openly. Pray for Abuja. I will just leave it there. We must pray that God will frustrate the counsel of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the sound of mourning and the sound of death by the appearance of evil men that god will stay we must fortify the spiritual borders of this territory through prayer and intercession and declare that god will expose and destroy everything that does not constitute the counsel of god are we together now don't say what i did not say pray but you see, God has granted us grace and he has put a burden even for the territory. I'm not one person who just comes to speak negative. But if you hear me say this, please pray in the name of Jesus that there will not be a resurgence of bombings and a resurgence of strange kidnapping, not of ordinary people, but of political figures within the place. This is the devil and in the name of Jesus, we don't celebrate negative things coming to pass. We superimpose it by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In one minute, pray for this region and pray for your region. Don't say it does not concern me. Please lift your voice and pray. We administer priesthood over the earth city. 
we declare in the name of Jesus as sons and daughters of light kings and priests we declare God's power has come no further shall you go in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah fast I want you to agree two things in one have you written your prayer request now this is what I want you to do very quickly please just pass it to pass it nobody's reading it so you just feel free pass it to the last person by maybe the left or the right aisle whichever those please all the overflows let's do same outside if you're following from any nation you can send it to our social media platforms it's time for us to pray we're going to pray for the sick as well as collect the prayer requests right now praise the name of the Lord how many of us are trusting the Lord to touch us or touch our loved ones we believe in miracles will take 10 minutes to make this happen very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we Jesus, there is healing in your name. Please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact. Those following on TV, you are following on any of our social media platforms outside. Connect now by faith. Connect now by faith. Every nation, every territory, we believe in the God that heals. Whilst you're submitting your prayer requests very quickly, please lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And I want to pray for you right now. I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. I believe in miracles and signs and wonders. Now watch this, please. This is what we're going to do. This will be very, very fast. Very fast. Let's walk together. I'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you. The moment I do that, I want you to begin to check yourself. And I'm going to give you an opportunity for as many who have been touched by God, whether you're inside or outside, the moment I'm praying. Some of you, whilst you came out here, miracles were already happening to you. Check yourself. You'll find out that a miracle has happened. I'd like you to run come and stand by my left or my right whichever there will be people to just check you and we'll take a few miracles then we'll pray over the request and i prophesy over you and we're done praise the name of the lord now lay your hands there and let's pray this is a house of healing this is a house of miracles In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity, causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Release them in the name of Jesus. Right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be opened now. If you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair, stand, lift that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Blood conditions, all kinds of blood conditions, be healed right now. The Lord is healing peptic ulcer. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Abdominal pains of all sorts, be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear. 
check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now in the name of Jesus now those who have been healed from the start of the service and those who are checking themselves now please check yourself very quickly you find out that the power of God has touched you be bold make your way to the front as we celebrate them those from outside if they are coming from outside for healing please allow them come are you celebrating miracles miracles are happening check yourself and make your way to the front right now make your way to the front right now in the name of Jesus Christ koinonia is this the best you can do Jesus is touching people touching people from outside quickly quickly it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you Lord it's in you That's all that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. Please let's let's take a few testimonies. We may not have time to take so much, but let the people come. Please sit for a few minutes. Whoever is ready, yes, sir. Please help us with the mic very quickly. Let's celebrate a few miracles here. And then go ahead. Also, yes. The Lord has actually started very fantastic things amongst us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I've had severe abdominal pain for over a year. Abdominal pain. Yes. Did and right now. Also, it's gone. Completely gone. Yes, sir. Celebrate Jesus. Place your hand there. In the name of Jesus. Go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Apostle, partial deafness has just been healed. My left leg did the result. That's your... The test result. The test result. They told me I have profound loss to total hearing loss. And Where? I'm hearing 25, the both ears. And right now? 
Yes, he made mention, he specifically mentioned that of the left ear, and the left ear was the one that had the worst result. Look, and and right now, it's open. From the back. Give Jesus hear, praise. Come on. My God. I stretch my hands and I declare perfection on your ears. It never returns again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, please. These two people, they've had severe back pain. Back pain? Back pain. They For how long, bend. sir? They couldn't bend. Six months now. Six months. My God. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles? Now they can bend comfortably. Bend. And Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Both this, of you. This one of our medical officials, too. Oh. <laughs> you are... <laughs> oh, dear. Beautiful. So now God will heal you and then you get to your work. One of our medical people has been healed too by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everyone receives in this house. I stretch my hands. Let there be miracles right now. In Jesus' name. There are so many people. Maybe a few of them can come here very quickly. Yes, please. Very quickly. Swelling on the neck disappears. Swelling. Swelling on the neck. There's How long? Give her the mic. Too. How long? Very quickly. For one week, here was swelling up. It was swelling. Yes. And it's gone right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, it never returns again. Don't commonize miracles. This is how God is opening doors in your life too. Swelling, in Jesus' name. Swelling in our throats too. For like six Swelling. Months. Yes. It's not swelling, but this long thing that is inside was touching my tongue and I was feeling uncomfortable. Okay. And now... I'm it's gone completely. Yes. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus, perfection for you. In Jesus name yes sir praise the Lord I have a problem with my leg whenever I sit down for long when I stand up I fall weak the leg just become weak and I just fall down you fall down yes so but ever since I came to this service I'm not conscious of standing up like I feel free now Run. with the leg try to jump any pain in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare perfection for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mr. Apostle, since he was a small boy, he's had problems with his chest with breathing, but now? Breathing. Yes, I had problem with the chest. So when I was sitting at the basement, I was not feeling comfortable breathing. So when you say we should put our hands in our chest, yes. so I decided to just put it by as faith. usual. So when I just put my hands, so normally I search for fresh air to breathe. If I go through this way, I see that the place is stuffy, I go to the next place. And right now? So, yes, yeah, so I've been breathe, walking around. Breathe in and out. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? Give no, Jesus sir. praise. We declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, growth in the neck for four years. Growth in the neck? Yes. Gone? Yes, sir. Since 2017. Since 2017? Yes, I had my a God. dream that someone forced something down my throat. I was struggling. And when I woke up, it has been... Everything that is not the planting of God, it returns back to the devil. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Yes, was please. A similar experience for one. My mom, she's at home. She has a swelling on her neck. Then she sent me this message. I should pray for her. Why are you praying? I placed my hand on my neck. I prayed for her. After I finished praying, I called her. I told her, Mom, how is your neck? She told me she's perfectly okay now. Where is she? She's at home. Where is home? She's at Anambra State. Hmm. She's okay All the now. way from Anambra yes, State. Yes, sir. Those following online, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles and breakthroughs for you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Also, she has had dislocation in her hand. She even came with the bandage, but now dislocation. Where yeah. is the bandage? She Lift has it up. It. What couldn't you do before? You couldn't do this. Go ahead. Lift it. Let the devil see both the bandage and your healed hands. Supernatural miracle. Come, listen, brothers and sisters. You see, let me tell you something. Yeah. The working of miracles is a gift and a grace. If you don't have it, you don't have it. If it's there, it is there praise the lord but then the side effect in a house that miracles easily happen just like water is that sometimes we may commonize the workings of miracles and what god is doing every one of these miracles you see there is a story of tragedy and pain this is deliverance this is healing that god is bringing for them we rejoice with you and we declare you go back home and tell them this is what happens when we come to church god bless you Bless you, my dear. Yes, please. So this has been confirmed by a medical official. She had a topic pregnancy. She was operated upon, and then she has been in severe pain. Severe she pain. She could not even walk. What's your now, name, my dear? 
And then you have a problem, a topic pregnancy. She was operated. And she's been having pain. Number one, that pain is perfected. Number two, in the name of Jesus, we declare that you will be a joyful mother of children. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Yes, sir. Apostle, since 2014, he's had moving objects. He feels things moving around him. And now, persecution, sir. Sir? Because of persecution, I came from Meduguri, sir. Because of persecution? Yes. Moving All objects? Over. Yes. They want to forsake. They want to kill me, sir. In the name of Jesus yes. Christ, perfection. I stretch my hands right now. May the power of the Holy Spirit touch you. And in Jesus' name, every demonic thing. I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I declare now, as I'm praying for you, in the name of Jesus, everything that is a programming of death, be delivered from it now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Pain, several pains. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare over you, all of you with all sorts of pain, let there be healing for you right now. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Yes, sir. Pain from atopic pregnancy, gone. Hallelujah. This issue of pregnancy and this demonic thing, we stand by the God of heaven and we declare, you will not get pregnant and lose it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that continues to make that you get pregnant and then it doesn't work, you give your best, you try and it does not work, I curse it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. My dear, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Also, the Lord is indeed faithful. Amen. She's had 17 seizures yesterday. 17, 17. seizures? The mother has the records here. She keeps record of these. Madam, talk. Don't cry. Just talk. Quickly. One Sir, minute. When she turned 12, that was last year, she just started misbehaving. She used to have seizures, maybe in a minute. Yes. If she's having anything in her hand, she will throw it. She will make it herself. Then, the thing what? started this year in the school. It was not doing her in the school, but it began to progress. It started in the school. The seizures started. We were praying. So, uh, what they happened saw, now? They are, Yesterday, because of this miracle service, I've been asking God to heal her. Yesterday, I started taking records. It, the seizure started around 12.20 a.m. in the night. As I recorded till night. What, uh, and what has happened now? 17. But today, I started at 2.20. Since this service started, the last seizure was 5.11. She's not had any seizure. She has seizure. not had it till now. My dear, what's yes. your name? Esther. Esther. Esther, I rebuke every spirit that wants to destroy the destiny of this our beautiful daughter. Seizures in the name of Jesus. See, I'm praying for the daughter and is the mother, the power of God is coming on. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare, if it's a pattern within that family, we break it now. Amen. By the way, let me speak over everyone. Any pattern you have seen, recurrent patterns, happens to loved ones and is happening to you in the name of jesus christ that pattern comes to an end now that pattern comes to an end now hallelujah please let's just take two two and then two two and then we we'll just you can document the rest and they can have it next week yes very quickly in her body for the past 10 years she said she could literally feel 10 body. years you feel breathing, objects breathing, in your body breathing but immediately you cause the case now she's completely gone well. my dear it will never return to you again in the name of jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit be free now be free forever in jesus name i pray Amen and amen. Yes, please. Mama said in the dream somebody hit her hand there and then she, in the physical, and then she could not turn the hand. She could not turn her hand. And the Give her the mic quickly. No, no, don't hold it. Just talk, Mama. A woman in a ceremony hit me on my shoulder. 
when I even came here, sometimes I cannot turn. I have to turn with my whole body. But when I came, my hand was paining me. If you say, raise up your hands for prayers, if I want to raise, my hand will hook me. But now, when you prayed... Come on, Koinonia. Jesus. And then she couldn't see properly. But now, her vision is perfect. I have glaucoma. I have cataract. And I have diabetes rhinopathy. I was not seeing people's face. Hold on, please. Yes, we're but listening. But after the prayers, if you pray, I'll put my hands on my eyes. And now, I can see people's face. Hmm. She came from Zaria. Uh, Apostle, he knows me very well. He has contributed on my life. I'm not even I'm Zaria. Not sure. And Mommy Lucy. Okay. Mommy Lavinia. Oh, they are my part goodness. Of, they are part of your members. I used to come for the Mama God has healed you now. I came Let the devil see it again. Look at this. Are you celebrating with this family? Listen, my brothers and sisters, not all miracles are stage managed. There are real, genuine miracles. May that be your story in Jesus' name. Amen. Mama, you are healed now, and we declare you are healed forever. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Confirmed by the medical official, she had breast lump, but it's gone, disappeared. Breast lump. Yes, sir. When you mentioned it, confirmed. Completely gone. Confirmed by the medical team. Yes, sir. Confirmed. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Everything that is planted in your life that is not of God, we uproot it right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Also, the three of them have similar cases with their needs, but today, in standard, the Lord healed. How long? The Lord has healed them. Yesterday, I had another. Last... Okay, now I'm free now. Completely. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Mine was eight months. I fell in a ditch and my bone shifted. And after the massage, if I sit down for too long, I'd feel the pain. So last miracle service, I had my miracle, but. I was too shy to come out, but this miracle service, and when you talked about kneecap, I just keyed into it, and the pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, this is amazing. I think it's better we hear from her. Yes, go ahead. Don't hold it. Just speak, my dear. Okay, so um, I, have been, I had a baby in April, and since I had the baby, I've been feeling unsettled in my brain. I knew something was not right. So on Friday, I went to do a brain MRI. And it turns out that I have a mass that is resting on my optic nerve. You had a mast? It, they called it between... Let the doctor talk. Explain it for us. Just one minute, very quickly. It's a pituitary tumor. Yeah, so it sits on the optic nerve, which is responsible for vision. So that's why she's been having the blurring of vision. And then it's also responsible for production of hormones that regulate the body. So that's why she'd be having the um, upset in the hormones. I had a baby and I, I wasn't able to breastfeed my baby because um, because of this, my prolactin levels were okay. very low, even lower than the average female. So, so what happened now? So while the administration was going on, I, well, after the prayer, I just felt that everywhere was suddenly clear. Like I could see clearly. And Hallelujah. I felt like... A fresh breeze from yes. this, from my head to the sole Upon of my you. feet, and I, I don't, I don't know what that is. I was sitting down. I was telling my neighbor that I don't know if I should come outside, but I just decided to come out. Don't cry, don't cry. Jesus is Lord. I stretch my hands towards you, my dear. I declare perfection. You go to the hospital, have a thorough test. You will come and stand here and testify before God's people. Every demon, every mast, anywhere around your body, your face, we declare it gives way now. Amen. In the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. I was a pile for six years. Pile? I've just been here. Yeah, I'm having pile for six years now. But today I believe that God has healed me. Because, Completely. Uh, yes. And also yesterday I did a test of hepatitis B. But trusting God that this my coming to this point now 
I'm healed yes. in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, healing for you. The last, the last one or two, please. And then we'll just pray generally. Majority of them pain. In all the of them pain. The bar, in the name of Jesus Christ. Healed. For all of you who are here remaining by the power of the Holy Spirit and those who are going, we apologize for the sake of time. We may not be able to take the testimonies. We do not downplay the testimonies. But in the name of Jesus, your healings remain permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. The same hand that healed you will preserve you and keep you healed in Jesus' name. Please rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands here. Rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands. Even as we speak, we have a covenant of answered prayer from Scripture and then with God in this house in one minute now listen let me tell you this in my opinion is one of the most powerful part of the miracle service because this is the most accurate representation of our desires we may not be able to prophesy because of time and because we see in part but everyone's expectation is here world over i like you to release your faith in one minute and begin to make declarations as i pray that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Shkete pranda kata prada kata bala daba. Shkete prende kete parata kata paratusi. Shama bala kota liya. Rete bala ta shiham bako te prende sita. Shama bala koti ha. Adi shihade emota kuba lekota. Shaba kata prando zeberi anderota. Jesus who is the son of the living God I bow my knees to the father of our Lord and I declare right now that every request that is represented here by the power that raised Christ from the dead we turn it into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ every death sentence written here we declare in the name of Jesus it will not come to pass I decree and I declare that every human agent that must come in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make these requests become testimonies we provoke their ministries right now and I speak to you by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that these Egyptians that you see today, you see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over your life by the power that is Christ from the dead, where doors have closed for you. In the name of Jesus, as you return from this mountain, step into a realm of open doors please believe believe every prophetic word step into a realm of open doors those trusting God for jobs in the name of Jesus for some of you by next week I declare by the Spirit of God you return with miracle jobs
where you have not experienced favor in your life i release my faith with you experience strange levels of favor you have honored me even through this weekend of my birthday i pray shame and dishonor let it be far from your life forever i pray for your spiritual life a fresh hunger for the things of god a fresh hunger for prayer and fasting a fresh hunger for the study of scripture in the name of jesus christ and finally let me pray for you everything you have seen or god told you should come into your hand and has not yet manifested i declare the grace for performance the grace for manifestation the grace for performance the grace for manifestation may it come upon you right now and everything you have started and yet you've not finished may the finisher's anointing come upon you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we're wrapping up now please july i'd like you to come with your heart open because we're going to do we're starting a very powerful series on the holy spirit and the mysteries of the anointing listen please i'd like you to don't just come to church come with your spirit your mind open we are going to learn the ministry of the holy spirit and understand the dynamics of the workings of the anointing praise the name of the lord hallelujah are you blessed very quickly lend me two minutes to make an altar call we cannot but make an altar call before we are done tonight please keep standing i know you've you've, you've been standing for a while just be patient we are done you are here even though our time is far gone but you are saying apostle i need jesus i cannot afford to leave this place without jesus either to hand over your life completely and receive of his life or to rededicate your life wherever you are please leave your seat very quickly we have just one minute for you if you're in any overflow please you walk to your overflow let's minimize movement please so that we allow those who are making this decision to come god bless you my brother i believe he's not the only one someone else is joining him someone that courage very quickly god bless you please stand look at our little one here are you celebrating this boy if you're coming please come quickly run to jesus whatever you ask of me whatever you ask of me i surrender if you're coming come quickly please we have one minute for you and we'll pray the prayer of salvation whatever you ask of me i surrender one more time whatever you ask of me whatever you ask Praise the Lord. Thank you for making that bold decision. You who are here and all who are lifting their hands in your various overflows outside and those following online, please lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again. Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin. Tonight, I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that I am a recipient of eternal life. I also receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken from my life i am for jesus today and forever amen keep those hands lifted father 
I commend these precious ones to you. Let the grace that keep, may that grace keep them. Let the grace that lift, may that grace lift them. I commend you to the ministry of the word and even the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be built, may you be established in righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for this bold decision. There's a gentleman waving the placard, smiling at you. The counselors, please, to my right, which is your left. Let's celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you very much for your patience. I'd like us um, for one last time to honor Pastor Elijah Oyelade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a blessing to us tonight, a blessing to the nations, and particularly all those who flew in from outside this country. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. We pray that the Lord will bless you. You will go from glory to glory, from grace to grace. In Jesus' name. After the grace, please do well to just greet someone by your left and right on your way out. And please um, be cautious so that you don't hit people. Let there be no stampede. Let Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.